Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel Xenonetic. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, do a replacement on your SD card for your SenseCap M1. Uh, this is going to be an easy step-by-step -step tutorial, so stay tuned. Before we get started, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. I have the SenseCap M1. It's not working anymore. It's uh, when I turn it on, it's just flashing, not blinking the front two lights and uh, I can't connect it into pairing mode. So this is an indication that the SD card uh, is corrupted and we need to replace it. I will walk you through it. Uh, you need to download the software, but you also need to request the sjohn file, the config json file uh, from SenseCap support. So let's go uh, over to the website. So this is the website you will need to have, you will have to go to. I will leave the, all the links that we visit in the description today, so uh, you can uh, visit them also. You can either log in if you have an account or just uh, register. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. After you logged in, you can submit submit a ticket subject. Uh, Sense M1 is not working, and here you will say, uh, "Yeah, can I have the the file? That's going to be this file right here. The name convic." json convict.json file you need that it's a unique file you can use it from a different miner uh send a picture right away also of the back plate the back plate has a sticker on it so uh they can also confirm it because they will ask for it probably later uh yeah after you've received that file takes up to 24 hours with me less even six seven hours uh you can go ahead and download the image of sensecap so that's the second link we're going to visit today and that's going to be this right here. Just hit download and let it download the file. And then we're going to need a uh, flasher to flash the SD card. That's going to be this website right here, Balina. Let's download it for Windows in this case. And there you have it. So now we have the downloaded files. And uh, yeah, by the way, everything is also on their web page right here uh, where they instruct it. Uh, so yeah, let's go to our downloaded folder. Okay, these are the files we have. Uh, we have the software, the image, and the config.json file, which I received in my email. So let's go ahead and open up Balina Etcher setup. And hit agree. Let it install. And now you can do a flash from file, select the image file, and I've selected this file right here. Then you can select the target. So let's do that and select it. By the way, this also works on OS X. Uh, just select the right uh, software for this one and we can hit flash. And uh, I am sure I have a 128 gigabytes for this one, but you can use a 64, that's highly recommended. And yeah, let it start up decompressing and after that flashing and then you're successful to go. And after that, we're just going to transfer the convict.json file into the SD card. So let's let this skip this part. Okay. And after that is done, you can complete it and you can just transfer this into that USB file called Racing Boot. Uh, so it's that easy. You just transferred it. You open the SD card folder in your PC and you transfer it in it. So I've already done that, uh, it's that easy. And uh, now it's time to take out the SD card, put it in the miner and see if it's working. So yeah, I've uh, launched it and it is uh, working again. The lamps are blinking finally. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this uh, tutorial folks. Uh, just a bit more information. I uh, did some uh, helium mining on the SenseCap. Now uh, you have crank that I've been doing for a while. Helium has been totally nothing. So the last couple of months, I didn't even try to fix it until now because you can actually convert your helium miner into a crank uh, miner. I will leave also their link in the description so you can check it out. It's a new project, pretty new, and uh, it works a bit different than helium, but uh, they even have dual mining currently. So what you can do is you can buy a license to uh, convert your sense cap into a crank miner with dual mining on helium platform so you'll be dual mining so that's pretty awesome uh yeah i highly recommend you guys checking that out uh it's very interesting of course i'm not a financial advisor do on your own do your own research 
And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.